Hey, welcome back to InfoGamer. My name's Nathan, and today we're going to be starting a new tutorial series on how to use the PlayFabs SDK in Unity. I received a number of requests from our subscribers to do this tutorial series, and so I'm going to give it a go. Now, I haven't used the PlayFabs SDK before, and so we're going to be working through the documentation and learning about it together. Now, I do have a degree in information technology, so I believe I'll be familiar with the methods used by the PlayFabs SDK. Now, as I do this series, I'll also still be doing videos for our tutorial series on the cross-platform native plugin. Both that plugin and the PlayFabs SDK offer similar features that can be implemented into your Unity project. And I'd say while the cross-platform native plugin is good in some areas, the PlayFabs SDK might be better in other areas. And so as I conclude both of these tutorial series, I might have to do a video giving my review of both of these plugins and explain which one I think might be a better option. Now before we begin, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can get updates when we publish new videos. So here I have the PlayFabs website open in a browser, and I'll link to this website in the description below. But I've navigated to their Features tab, and on this page we can see all the different features that the PlayFabs SDK offers. So here's all the game services that you can implement into your Unity project. They have player authentication and linking accounts. They also have storage and managing player data, which is going to be a big part of this tutorial series. And this is probably the number one reason for using PlayFabs. It looks like this SDK also allows you to have tournaments and leaderboards in your project. It looks like for their multiplayer services, they rely somewhat on the Photon plugin, which we have our own tutorial series on how to use. You should check it out. But there's some additional features that the PlayFabs SDK has for multiplayer services. They also advertise that they have in-game characters, which I believe is just more cloud saving. And then they have push notifications, which is a big thing with mobile devices. They also offer help with commerce, which is in-app purchases and being able to spend money in your application. And finally, they have their own real-time analytics system, which allows you to see the traffic that is being driven by your application. So as you can see, there's a lot of awesome features that the PlayFabs SDK can offer your game. Now, the last thing that I'd like to show you for this lesson is how to import the PlayFabs plugin into your Unity project. For this, we want to navigate to the Documentations tab, and then we want to scroll down to where it says Pick Your SDK. And since we're using Unity, I'm going to select Unity. That will then take us to this page, and here it talks about setting up Unity and setting up your Unity project, which we'll do in a little bit. But I'm going to scroll down to where it says Download PlayFabs SDK, and it says the best way to acquire our Unity SDK is via our editor extensions although you can directly download the Unity SDK from our GitHub page. And then they have a link to the GitHub page. But what we're going to do is select the second option, which is the PlayFabs Unity Editor Extensions. That will then ask us to save this Unity package in a location on our computer. And I'm going to save it in this folder. From here, we then need to go to Unity and create a new Unity project. So here I've created a new Unity project. If you don't know how to create a project, then you can watch our video on how to do so, which I've linked to in the top right corner. Now the next thing I'm going to do is import our PlayFabs package. So I'm going to go to the Assets drop-down menu. I'm going to select Import Package, then Custom Package. Here we then need to find the location that we saved that Unity package. I'm going to select it and then click Open. That'll bring up this window here, which has all of the files that we'll need for our PlayFabs plugin. And so I'm just going to click Import. Once it's imported, you'll then see this new window here, which is called PlayFabs edX. And here we can create our new PlayFabs account. So I'm going to type in my email. I'm then going to enter in a password. I'm then going to confirm that password. We can then give our account a studio name. And then we can click Create an Account. This will then allow you to log in to the PlayFabs website using the same email and password. Once you've confirmed your account, you'll then see this window here, but I'm actually going to go back to Unity. Once back in Unity, we can then click Install PlayFabs SDK. Once it's been installed, we then need to go over to Settings, and here we can set our Studio, 
and our title ID. Now I was running into a problem here for some reason when I select the studio drop down menu and I was trying to select my Info Gamer Studio, for some reason it wasn't selecting it. And so what I had to do is I had to go back to this web page and I had to create a new studio and then I had to create a new game entry. Once I created that new studio through the website, I was then able to go back to Unity and I was able to select my new studio and there we can see that I've set the studio and the title to my PlayFab test. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to set up the PlayFabs SDK in your Unity project. In the next video we'll talk about making your first API call. Now if you like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below. Also share this video with anyone that you think might be interested and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.